When we speak of generational trauma, we look at generational trauma from a place of past being brought forward. So obviously our parents, their parents, the parents of those parents, etc., etc. Then we subsequently go up the line from where we are. But more often than not, we don't look at it from the place of as much as there is generational trauma, and as much as it's in our past, in our history, in our lineage, in our bloodline, or however you want to phrase it or frame it, and we start dealing with and healing that part of that process that we've been subjected to. Ultimately, at some point, we have to reframe from a place of what we don't deal with as individuals, we will then subsequently pass on to our children and their children's children because the coping mechanisms and the subsequent survival adaptations then become very relevant to how we show up in the world, how we're coping, how we're surviving. So unless we deal with all of our stuff, which technically is the generational trauma, which is the past elements as to how we've managed to survive, then we then pass those miss or dysfunctional elements that are then malfunctioning in our lives onto our children who then have to find a way to cope and or manage with us as the parent. So we can look at the fact of we do our healing work and we get to the overall position of doing our healing work in order to then save future generations from having to deal with those very same problems or end up encountering those problems as a result of us not having dealt with our own stuff. So when we then get to the position of dealing with our own stuff and clearing it and sorting it and resolving it, not only are we doing it for our own personal growth and development, but we're also doing it for those who are due to come after us so that they don't have to deal with the same issues and the same problems. They too will subsequently have their own lessons, their own growth and their own learning to be subjected to. So when we look at it from a bigger picture perspective, we can then get ourselves into a position whereby we know that the work that we're doing isn't solely for us, but we should then therefore see the benefit of it. But it will have a knock-on effect to those who come after us, and therefore that should then make their lives better and easier as a result of us putting in the work as part of the process. So there's a brief insight for you, but as always, until next time, trust the process, and it's bye for now.